Hi guys, so I know this video title might be shocking for more reasons than one. The first one being that I have not sat down to film a Taylor Tells It All in literally forever. And I know sometimes I come on here, I'm like, oh, I haven't sat down and filmed, but no, I have not filmed a Taylor Tells It All video in what feels like forever, and it literally has been forever, as I just mentioned. If you have not seen my previous Taylor Tells It All videos, I do talk about a wide variety of topics, and I like to pick topics that seem to be a little controversial because I am a communications major, and I like talking about things that matter, topics that are relevant in my life, topics that like to stir up anger, stir up passion. I like hearing other people's opinions and I like sharing my own. So that's why I created this series. And another reason why a lot of people might be shocked at the title is because I am talking about something that is slightly controversial and something that people tend to not talk about and that is losing your virginity. A little backstory about how I grew up. I was raised a Catholic and I attended Catholic school from kindergarten to 12th grade. So if you're unfamiliar with the Catholic religion, they practice abstinence, which is refraining from premarital sex. Now they believe that after two partners have gotten married and are ready to procreate, then you have sex. But we are all on different life paths and although some of us choose to wait till marriage and some of us choose to have sex early on, it's completely up to you. That is your choice 100% because you are your own person and you have your own body. So you get to make that decision. I decided to wait until I was ready to share that special part of myself with someone I loved and cared about. I met my boyfriend when I was 15 and we dated for a year before we decided to have sex. And we went to my house and that is all I can remember. And the whole point of this video, I know a lot of people were maybe watching it in the hopes that they would hear my juicy details, but I wanted to just come on here and say that sometimes things aren't memorable and society builds so much expectations on these life moments that are supposed to be life changing. And although at the time it might have meant something because I was doing something that I had never done for the first time, now looking back at the age of 21, I don't remember it. And I remember the person that I was with, I remember how he made me feel, but I do not remember any of the details. I just want to clarify that there is a very, very fine line between having sex and making love. I have had sex and I have made love and I've done them separately and I've done them with the same person. So I want you all to know that although there are going to be so many partners in your life, well, I mean, again, that's up to you. You might have one partner, you might have 20 partners, completely your choice. But these partners might not always make love with you. They might just have sex with you. And I do hope that we all get to experience making love at some point in your life. And although that might not be your first time when you lose your virginity, it will come at some point somewhere down the road. You know, as we grow up, we all begin to wonder, how do you have sex? Where does this go? How does this feel? Is it supposed to make me feel this way? How do I go about doing it? And to be honest, I cannot sit down and just preach to you sex tips or sex advice or any advice on how to lose your virginity because my experience is probably going to be different than yours and it's probably different than your friends just like it was different from my brothers and our parents because our parents did have to have sex to create me and my brother. So everyone's experience is different and I think sometimes by placing these really high standards and really high expectations on losing your virginity it turns out to be something that you weren't expecting. Now, BuzzFeed does have a really funny video with a few tips that I wanted to include in this video, so check that link down below. BuzzFeed is just great on kind of summing up people's opinions and making them a little comical, so I want you to check that out. If you do want a little tips, because those are some people's opinions on what they wish they knew, but to be honest, all I can sit here and tell you is just do it with someone that you care about. Do it with someone that you trust and someone that makes you feel comfortable and happy being who you are because you are giving yourself to that person at that time. And my last advice, which goes against the Catholic religion again, but I have already had sex premaritally, so I guess I can't do any further wrong, is to use protection, whether it be birth control or condoms, or if you like to plan it out naturally with your period cycle, just be safe. 
be smart, you have your whole life ahead of you. And like I mentioned earlier, we're all on different paths, but make sure you're going down the path that you want to be going down in the next couple years. So now it's your turn. Now that I just shared my opinions on losing my virginity or my lack thereof opinions on losing my virginity, please let me know what you guys thought of your first time. Was it everything you had expected? Do you regret it? Would you like to redo it if you could go back in time and do it again? And if you personally have any advice that you would like to leave to the younger viewers or anybody, because you could be 50 and still a virgin. There is a movie, 40 year old virgin, and do not be ashamed. Do what you do. I want to know it all. Until my next video, guys, I will see you then. Bye.